everybody, it's Emily here and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really lovely peachy glowy makeup look. It's great for this sort of like winter spring transition and it's really nice and glowy and very different to what I normally do because what I normally do is quite basic and boring. I did do some pretty cute uh, eyeshadow on this one so make sure to check out all of the products because I am absolutely loving all of them, especially the Benefit... Um, this a benefit high beam because I use that in here and it is one of the my favorite things ever now I got it for Christmas and it's amazing so yes definitely check that out um, and that is it so without this being a really rambly intro let's get on with the video so first I'm going to take a small toothbrush and some Vaseline and just pop some Vaseline on my lips and then rub the toothbrush around to get off any hard skin Once my lips are all smooth and soft, I am going to use the Benefit Professional Primer and instead of rubbing it around my eye area, I'm going to dab it because that is something that I learnt about silicon based primer. You just pat into my creases like that. And once that's done, because I'm feeling a little bit spotty, I'm going to pop some concealer on. This is the Collection Concealer like, like a Pro palette. And it has got all of these shades that correct like um, uh, dark circles, redness, dullness, that's a highlighter. And then you've got four lovely, oh you can't even see because it's on the wrong side, that's better. Um, and then you've got four like concealer shades that you can use um, to match your skin tone. I use, oh I can't even do this, uh, I use this shade down here and sometimes this shade up here if um, I'm doing like a lighter area like under my eyes. I'm also going to use this Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer under my eyes at the same time um, in conjunction with that to get rid of my dark circles. So with the lovely Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer in lovely triangles under my eyes, um, I am going to pop on some of the Benefit High Beam just onto like the cheekbones and my nose and my forehead just where it needs to be highlighted and this adds a really nice glow that just sits under your concealer a little bit and really adds a little bit of an undertone it's not so much that it's a highlight on top of the skin with a really nice highlighted powder it's just something that really makes your skin glowy and looks really fresh and natural pop this on my cheekbones here so that follows the line of where i have put my um concealer in. and i'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender and now I'm going to go with the smallest amount of powder. This is loose powder, so it, you can put as much on or as little on as you want, depending on how matte you want your skin and how much coverage you want. I'm only going to put a tiny bit on because I don't want to ruin that little glow we just put on. And I'm going to do that with the Eco Tools Blush Brush. And I'm just using the collection powder because it's all I have. And then I'm going to add a little bit of colour to my face. So I'm looking a bit like a ghost. I am going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I am going to use the Eco Tools Precision Precision blush brush <sighs> it's a mouthful and I'm just going to pop a little bit on the edge and then work that just under my cheekbones just to add a little bit of depth and a little bit of colour after that I'm just going to take a normal blush brush I'm not sure what this is I think it's the 17 cheek brush I'm going to take my Clinique um, blushing blush powder in the shade Precious Posse or Posy I'm not sure what <laughs> I'll just say that one and it's just this lovely pink shimmery kind of rose gold colour it's got a good shimmer to it and I'm just going to work that in the small apples of my cheeks just little tiny ones um, and that will just bring out a bit of colour and if you wanted to you could also top up that glow by using a highlighting powder um, if I used one, I would use the Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin in the shade Iridescent Gold. It is the nicest, shimmeriest um, highlighter on the planet. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes because I've been neglecting them for the whole video. So I feel like they need a little bit of love. I'm just going to take the Rimmel um, Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown and just pop that on my eyebrows. The lighting here is terrible, I just realised. Sorry guys. And when that's done, I'm just going to prime my eye. There's a little, I don't put primer on, but I will put some Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer on just to set a good eyeshadow base. And then to do my eyeshadow, I'm actually going to take the blusher shade that I use, which is the Clinique brush, Blusher, and just work that into just the crease of my eye, um, my eyelid, um, but in quite like a big motion. So it's quite a powerful colour.
and then I am going to take my Revolution palette in Iconic 1. Ooh. And then I'm going to take the lighter shade on this palette and I'm going to pop that one directly onto my eyelid there and in under the brow bone and that's going to really make the eyeshadow look really bright and airy and quite springish and very glowy and nice and peachy and just lovely and that was a lot of adjectives. <laughs> And now to finish off my eyes, I'm just going to use my NYX um, Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. This eyeliner is so good, the name had to be that long. And it is a long name, that is like the whole name, I didn't make that up. Um, and this is in the shade Golden Bronze and it's just this one here. Ooh. I'm just going to pop that and use that as just like in the corner, just as a flick. There we go, that is all done. And now I am going to quickly curl my eyelashes with my eyelash curlers and pop on the Maybelline New York Cash Classic Volume Express Waterproof Mascara and then I'll be all done. And then to finish off on my lips, I am just using the L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Matte in shade 640, if you can see that. It's just a lovely colour and I'm not going to use much of it, I'm just going to make the colour um, kind of come out on my lips and then put some Vaseline on it to give it a really nice bright, shiny and quite natural look. So there we have it. I have fixed the lighting but it's probably really shaky now because I'm holding it in my hand. So yeah, sorry about the lighting through all of that. I was sat directly underneath my window which is there and it doesn't have very good lighting. I should really start doing my videos over in this corner because the lighting is so much better. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really like this look. I think it's really nice and natural and really quite good for this sort of like winter transition into spring. Um, I like the quite glowy look you can quite achieve and the less you put on the better it looks because you look so much more natural. I am going to work today so I do want a bit more coverage so that is why I'm wearing a bit more makeup but that's fine. I also like using my blush as my eyeshadow because then like I kind of match and I like that too. Um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to make sure you catch all of my random ramblings in the future. And yes, have a very lovely day and I will see you next Wednesday with another video. Adios!